Today, we're gonna be making our very own custom 3D YouTube subscribe animation. Kind of like this. Let's get right into it. Hey guys, what's up, it's Bravity, and welcome back to another video here on my channel. Hope you guys are having a fantastic day. So, first things first, I gotta apologize for not releasing a video last week. I got extremely sick over the last weekend, and the whole week I've been really sick, and the entire week was dedicated to me just getting, feeling a little bit better, but I'm finally, this weekend, starting to feel a lot better. Good enough to make videos, so the videos are back every single weekend, and I hope you guys are ready for some awesome content, but today, we're gonna be making your very own 3D custom YouTube subscribe animation, and what I mean by that is kind of a live action YouTube subscribe animation where your channel pops up, like the whole channel, the entire thing like it's in a browser, and you move over, click subscribe, turn on notifications, and then it slides out of the frame again. You can put it in your YouTube videos, you can put it on your Twitch channel if you want, wherever you want. We're gonna be making one of those right now, and the first thing we need to do is we need to go to YouTube and we need to find our channel. So right here I have my Bravity M channel, and we need to record a video of me clicking subscribe. The issue with that is that you kinda need a second account. If you have a second YouTube account, perfect. Switch on over to that one, find your main account, and then you just need to subscribe to yourself. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna record this right here. I'm gonna leave my mouse down here in the corner, and we're just gonna go up to subscribe, click it, over to the bell, click it, and turn on all notifications, and then move our mouse out of the way. That's all we needed right there. We just wanna to subscribe to ourselves and make it a really nice fluid mouse movement. Now you can do this whole thing inside of After Effects, just create graphics for the mouse coming in and clicking, and that is a way that I would probably do it, but I wanna keep this as simple as possible so we can actually just record the actual clicking of the subscribe button instead of animating a full button and clicking it and all that kind of stuff. So now let's jump inside of After Effects and I'm gonna show you how to just animate it coming in and moving over to the click. All right guys, so here we are inside of After Effects. I have created a new project and we've just imported the clip of us recording our channel. And the first thing we're gonna do is just create a new composition. 1920 by 1080 is fine. We're gonna call this sub animation. We're gonna call it sub animation and hit okay. And the first thing we're gonna do is drag down our footage here and we're just gonna go ahead and scale this up to size. So I recorded it in 720 just because I use like my stream setup when I was recording this. So we're just gonna kind of scale it up. And the first thing we need to do is mask out everything that we do not want. So we're gonna fit this real quick. We're gonna make sure our layer is selected and we're gonna come up here and grab the rectangle mask tool. And we're just gonna mask from about here inside of our header, just like that, and drag it all the way down. We're gonna cut off our programs here at the bottom. So it's just the YouTube page and just like that is pretty good. Perfect. So now we've got that masked out. Everything we don't want to see is outside of the mask. So now we've got this awesome thing we can move around. I'm going to go ahead and move my anchor point kind of to the center just like that. Perfect, so there we go. First things first, we need to make this a 3D layer. So the way you're gonna make this a 3D layer is we're gonna come down here and we're gonna click this little cube box thing right here and we're just gonna check it like that. And there we go, now we got a 3D layer. So the next thing we're gonna do is we're just gonna trim down our clip here. So let's see whenever my, you can see my mouse down here. Let's go ahead and trim off when our mouse is about to come up. So right about there, let's go ahead and hit play. Let's see if I gave myself enough time. Uh, yeah, that's probably pretty close. And then we're gonna go ahead and go up it clicks subscribe, clicks notifications, turns on all, and then I move out of the way, and then we can go ahead and trim it right there. So we have trimmed our layer to only have where I go up and I click the subscribe button. Let's go ahead and drag this to the beginning of our comp here. So the next thing we're gonna do is we're actually gonna frame up the subscribe button where we want it to be at the end of the animation when we're clicking the button. That is the first thing we're gonna do. So I'm gonna go ahead and go to right before the mouse kind of goes over the subscribe button. And we're gonna go ahead and just kind of move this around. I'm gonna scale it up just like this. We're gonna move it over like that. And then we're gonna grab our rotation tools. And since we're in 3D, we can rotate it to kind of be an interesting screen like that. Let's go ahead and scale this up a little bit more so we can be really nice and close to the subscribe animation just kind of like that that's pretty cool maybe scale it up even a little bit more maybe like that and let's see how that looks click subscribe and then it will maybe animate down like this when that pops down 
maybe that's pretty cool or we'll just leave it right there okay so as you can see we've got this 3d camera look already going on because we rotated it if you see if I grab my rotation tools you can rotate this to be kind of on a weird 3d plane and that's what's giving us the really cool animation style so this is our final frame pretty much right here just kind of shifted in 3d a little bit and zoomed in on the subscribe button so we're gonna go ahead and check keyframes check the keyframe stopwatch for pretty much everything down here just in case we touch it all so position scale orientation all the rotations just like that just go ahead and turn them all on you can turn them off if you don't end up using them and what we're gonna do is we're then going to go back a few frames kind of like this and we're gonna move it out we're gonna scale out we're gonna, gonna kind of go back to the flat look the not quite 3d look just like this and we're gonna move our entire composition back over to where you can see the name Bravity M just like that maybe rotate it a little bit less kind of like that and then let's go ahead and scale it out a little bit more move it over like this so now you can see the Bravity M is the name of the channel you can see my subscribers you can see my header but then it goes and flies over to the subscribe button and clicks it just like that but it's happening a little bit late because it's subscribing while it's still in the animation so we're going to grab our keyframes and we're going to kind of kind of move them forward because we want to be finishing the animation like right when i click subscribe beautiful so let's go ahead and see how that looks eh. moving a little bit too fast still or a little too slow there we go we want to be there and looking at it when the subscribe happens cool so now you can see we didn't use any of these keyframes down here so I'm gonna go ahead and turn them off just like that and then all of these keyframes are gonna get the typical graph editor so we're gonna select them actually we're gonna select them all go to right click keyframe assistant easy ease and then we're gonna select them one at a time here and we're gonna go ahead and draw this cool little shape on the graph where we go fast and then slow down just like that grab these ones next in the middle Draw the same graph where it goes fast, then slows down, and then these ones here. Draw the graph, goes fast, and then slows down. Now let's see how this animation looks here. See how it flies in and goes click, click, click. Oh, that's looking so good already. So now what we want to do is we want to start the animation. We want to have it come in. Like if I just said, don't forget to subscribe to the channel, it needs to fly in. So what we're going to do is we're actually going to come back before this at the beginning, right? When you see the full channel, just like this, we're going to go forward a few more frames, just like that. We're going to grab our position. We're going to drag it all the way down, just like that. Now we're going to make sure we grab these two here and do a similar kind of speed up slow down effect just like that and how does this look it goes whoo oh man that is fast bam bam so let's go ahead and slow this one down a little bit by dragging our keyframes out oh yeah that is looking really cool so let's go ahead and drag this keyframe to the beginning of the comp just like that Oh, that is looking really cool. So one thing we can do to make this look even better is the fact that the animation is moving so fast, it might look good with a little bit of motion blur. So how we're gonna do that is we're gonna click on this little motion blur button here, and then we're gonna toggle the motion blur on our comp as well, or on our layer. And now you can see we got a little bit of blur. So let's play this with the motion blur. Oh yeah, look at all that blur as it comes in. So it's rendering, that's why it's playing all choppy. Once it renders, we're gonna get a really nice looking animation. So let's play it again. Oh yeah. That is looking really cool. So I actually think it needs to sit right here a little bit. So what we're gonna do, we're actually going to duplicate these keyframes right here and we're gonna paste them back here and then drag this back a little bit. And now what that's gonna do is that's gonna make it sit right here for a little bit and then go. So sit and then go. Maybe extend that a little bit more like that. Drag this forward, make this a little bit longer. Let's let it render. So as you can see, it, it comes up and it holds on the full screen a little bit longer. This little gap here holds on the full screen and then it goes to the subscribe animation. So bam, bam, there we go. So you can see the channel for a little bit before it goes and zooms over to the subscribe animation. So there we go, we fly in, subscribe, turn on notifications, but then once you turn on the notifications like that, we now need to animate it out. And the way we're gonna do that is the exact same way we brought it in, we're gonna click uh, to add another keyframe just like that and then we're gonna go forward a few frames just like this and we are going to just drag it all the way out just like that make sure we go and do our keyframe easy ease but we're actually gonna do it in the opposite direction now so we're gonna grab this one and straighten it out a little bit and then we're gonna grab this one so it starts slow and then speeds up later so now we can add an out point here and let's see 
what our animation looks like real quick. So it's going to render first, and then let's see. Turns on all notifications, and then it flies out. Now it's going to play at full speed. There we go. We have got a beautiful live action subscribe animation that you can throw in all your YouTube videos. As you can see, it is that simple to create. Sadly, I do not have a template for you. This isn't something I can really templateify. I mean, it is a little bit. It would be very difficult um, because I'm not sure how long it takes you to record your animation for clicking and that kind of thing. So now that you see the entire steps of how to create this, you should be able to record your own video and jump in and make one. And you don't have to make one like this. You can have it do like rotation and fly in and different ways and like have bounces to it and whatnot. I've shown how to use the inertial bounce um, expressions, how it bounces whenever you move the cameras around. Um, so you can just do whatever you want and get creative with this animation. It doesn't have to look just like this. And I hope I've opened the doors for you to get creative and think of awesome ways to use this 3D effect inside of After Effects. But that's pretty much it for this video, guys. If you do create anything amazing, make sure you send it to me on Twitter and let me know down in the comments. There's also a link to my Discord in the description of every single video. Make sure you join there and post whatever you create inside the Discord. There's a specific channel where you can post to get uh, some feedback from the amazing community. Everyone's dying to let you know what they think about your animations. There's so many great people that'll let you know and help you out. So make sure you do that, and I will see you guys in the next video.